What's up, y'all? Um, I watched the re-airing of the uh, uh, Errol Spence Sean Porter fight last night, and um, I had I didn't see it all the way through originally. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, Porter definitely brought his game, um, but Spence just seemed to know how to handle it. Uh, um, despite taking some hits, um, which I know is inevitable, unless you're Floyd, but even Floyd takes hits. But, uh, um, yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed with, uh, Spence. Um, but I think that Porter would actually make for a more interesting fight against a Floyd Mayweather. Um, he was relentless. He kept on coming uh, toward uh, Spence. And uh, Spence just has that real cool, calm, collective uh, demeanor and um, just seems to know how to handle it. Real talent. Um, both guys. Both guys. I was impressed. I enjoyed it very much. Um What else did I want to say? Oh, I did. What I didn't like was um, uh, the Anthony Durrell against David Benavidez. Um, if you watch that fight, that was also an interesting fight. But uh, David Benavidez, man, he got dirty in that eighth round. Um, he was holding him and clocking him to his eye and 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 and, and low blowing him and. I just thought that was weak sauce because uh, he already had his eye wide open and it showed me that he was uh, scared of him. I think he was scared of Tony D. And um, I didn't like that. I don't know why uh, Anthony uh, gave him so much props at the end of that fight too. I, maybe it was political. I don't know. But, but I was sort of upset. I thought, I thought that uh, David got dirty. I don't like to see that. The elbow, you think he threw a few deliberate elbows. I mean, I know they all do it, but you got a man down. There's no reason to, uh, you know, you already have him. You already have a significant advantage. No reason to uh, get dirty. It's not like you were trying to stay alive, although maybe he was, because I think even wounded like that, um, Darrell posed a, a threat to him. As long as he was in that ring, he posed a threat to him, even though uh, Benavides is bigger. Um, I think he just wanted, he wanted to be done with that fight. Uh, he didn't like, he knew it was dangerous for him. Uh, Benavidez did, but I didn't like, I didn't like that cheap shot shit. Um, but anyways, getting back to Spence and Porter, um, they look so much bigger, uh, than, you know, once they were in the ring, they looked like middleweight, super middleweights, um, in there, especially Porter, his chest, he was huge. Um. I know he's a short guy, but uh, short. I'm as tall as he is, but uh, um, but uh, that was a that was that was a great fight. That was a fun fight to watch. Um, those scorecards too. It was. Um, I mean, the overall, the fact that it was a split decision, I can accept that. But the way the the scorecards, the one guy had it one sixteen to one eleven in favor of Spence. I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't, and, and then the other one that had uh, Porter up by, I think it was four points. It was either, or maybe uh, it was 115, something like that, 115, 111 or something. I, I didn't agree with that either. But it was close. It was entertaining. And uh, both of those guys can... Uh, walk away from that one with their heads up. I think they both gained respect. 
and both gained, uh, you know, warrior status if they didn't already have it.